Hi, I'm Jared. And I'm Kate. And this is Speaking Of. Yes, it is. So I'm going to let you start today because you have stories to I tell. I have so many stories to tell. And you didn't get to the one last week, so, so yes. I'm going to start with this. <laughs> Maybe I'll so, put this down for a minute. <laughs> so recently we did our Share a Coke, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Here they so, are. See? Pretty. See? They're so pretty. Well, I just wanted to point out that today I purchased it. Well, first of all. <laughs> wow, there's a first of all. I know. There's always, a, there's always a preface to everything. Yes. So I wanted to buy a Coke. Okay, I've had a headache for like seven days. I wish I were kidding. And I thought, you know there's what? There's got to be a world record. We need to look into that. <laughs> Seriously. So I thought, you know what? I'm like chugging down these Tylenol sinus severe like nobody's wow. business. Why not? No wonder you were so happy last night when I talked to you. That's <laughs> true. I, oh my gosh. Yeah, I have, okay. We'll discuss the doctor's visit later. Oh, so, Lordy. So <laughs> anyway, I thought, why not add caffeine to the mix, right? So I wanted Sometimes to buy a Coke. Yeah. So I take my dollar to the machine. I put it in. The machine turns it into quarters. Okay. It's like the slot machine. I know. So then I put the quarters in. It won't accept the quarters. And I'm yelling at the... There's this poor woman trying to get ice next to me. And I'm yelling at the machine, Stop trying to protect me from myself! I can make my own choices! Well, was there a note or anything? Like, no. exact change? Okay. No. I have exact change! Well, right. Yeah, like... Well, it, especially after I gave it to you. Yeah, like, it was ridiculous. So, fine, I didn't get a Coke. So then the next day, that wasn't yesterday, anyway, then another day. She, she's had some drugs. <laughs> Apparently not too much Tylenol. <laughs> it's been a week. So then I went to the store to buy one. Right. And I intentionally, so I'm look, I always look at the names and I am particular about which name I choose. Like it matters. Well, that's not because when I see them, there's hardly any names anymore. Really? Yeah. Well. You must go like after stocking or something. Or, I, I guess. So I, I'm looking at the names and I... I land on Sam. Why do I choose Sam? Because Sam I am. <laughs> no. You like sadly, and ham? <laughs> sadly, <laughs> Sam is the name of my childhood imaginary friend. <laughs> childhood! Wow. I said childhood. Anyway, so that leads to... I'm not sitting on Sam right now, am I? <laughs> I said childhood! <laughs> He's dead. Just anyway, checking. Sam's dead? <laughs> It happens. So it leads me to, today I beat the machine and I got a Coke and it says, share a Coke. All now, right. Jim decided to tell me that- Jimmy Boj, my arch enemy. Yes. Still haven't heard back. Just saying. <laughs> Apparently he left you a message, but you didn't see it. At any rate, we'll discuss that later. All right. So he tells me that it says share a Coke only because they know that I don't have any friends <laughs> to share it with. And this got me started. Well, actually, I told Beverly yesterday. I'm done with that. I told Beverly yesterday. Letterman throws <laughs> pencils. Kate throws See, Coke bottles. I can throw whatever I want. <laughs> Whoever's at Coke, they should have thought ahead. Because you see the ones that say, share with friends, share with family, share with mom, whatever. Why is there not one that says, share a Coke with frenemy? <gasps> Why is there, there not one that be. says? I'm actually surprised there isn't. Right? Share a Coke with invisible friend. <laughs> These should exist! They should exist. They have missed the boat. That's all wow. I'm saying. Wow. So speaking of the grocery store and stocking, that that's actually reminded stocking. me. Stocking. <laughs> store stocking. Not our fun kind of stocking, but nevertheless. I'll discuss our kind of stocking afterwards. Okay, I will toss it back to you then. Okay. So I'm in the grocery store and I, I've had kind of a torrid love triangle this summer. Oh my. Between myself, Ben, and Jerry. It's, it's been something, I have to tell you. But yeah. I understand. I, I don't, well, I usually don't like ice cream this much. I mean, I like ice cream, but not to the point of, oh, I'm craving it. I'm going to go out and get it. And, Are you even human? Yeah. Because <sighs> well, that happens there has been some debate. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So I decide, you know, I've had a lot of ice cream this summer. I'm going to be a little bit better. I'm going to go the frozen yogurt route. Oh, yo. <laughs> going to get some Liz Lemon. So I go to the store and I'm standing in front of the Ben and Jerry's. Liz Lemon in a while. Well, so here's the story. So I'm standing there and I'm looking, and another lady comes up beside me and she's like, she's looking too, and I'm like, oh, I'm just not seeing what I want. How about you? And she's like, no, me neither. There's this great 
you know, ice cream with potato chips in it that Ben and Jerry's makes. I've been looking for that. So <laughs> here's the story. So I'm like, oh, how did I miss that? And she's like, yeah, it's it's the Jimmy Fallon flavor. And I'm like, really? And I'm like, I'm looking for the Liz Lemon flavor. To which I, she'd be my new best friend. She, not missing a beat, says, why would our NBC friends do this to us? <laughs> I love her. <laughs> I'm like, I know. And I said, I cannot believe that I missed the Jimmy Fallon flavor and especially that potato chips in it. I have I'm all over it. it. And <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, I I don't just walk past the Ben and Jerry section. I'm constantly looking <laughs> for my salted caramel core. I mean, sorry. Right. Beverly will correct me. Salted caramel core. <laughs> caramel but they core. they very rarely have it. Wow. But I whenever I look, I also look for the Jimmy Fallon right. or whatever. Well, because I know they do like limited edition or whatever, so. Yeah, but how limited has it got to be that we never exactly. even saw it? I don't know. We might have to uh, make a field trip downtown and go to the actual store and find it. Or and if, if they that have doesn't it. work, we'll make a field trip back to the Vermont store. <laughs> and I can We're say. We're going to the headquarters. And once again, I can say, why do you have to put chocolate in everything? <laughs> Ben and Jerry. It'll be good. It'll be great. Yeah. All so right. Speaking, speaking of stalking. Of stalking. <laughs> so when I went to the doctor's office for my oh. million year headache. Did they do anything for it? Well, kind Did of. Did they give you a CAT scan? <gasps> <laughs> anyway. Anyway, he never lets me tell my stories. So the nurse comes in and does all the preemptive whatever. Right. Preemptive yeah. work. <laughs> the it's preemptive the pregame show. Yeah, she does the pregame <laughs> show. And she's very pleasant. And she says, well... So the doctor's going to come in. Now she has a student that's been following her around. And I said, <laughs> her stalker? <laughs> she said, yeah, her little stalker. <laughs> her little stalker friend. And is it okay if she comes in? Of course it's okay. Well, I like it when the little stalkers, the friends, they don't get, you know, the sense of humor and they're kind of put off. Because like with my oh. doctor, he'd have interns often as well. Uh -huh. And I would just be saying things and the poor intern's eyes just get wider and wider. <laughs> well, <laughs> Let's think about the things that you say. <laughs> I'm just talking about an average Joe here. No, she actually was good. The, the stalker did come in and she caught on. So they ended up giving me a shot <gasps> of something. I can't remember what it oh, is. Oh, maybe that's why you were happy last night. No, that was on Monday. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so it was the Tylenol. <laughs> yeah. So she gave me, they gave me a shot of something. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a cousin to Advil times 10 or something to where oh, wow. they give you the shot and then you have to wait 15 minutes before you can leave and sure I couldn't pass drive out or something yeah, well yeah because like you get buzzed or whatever and then I couldn't drive yeah. myself home afterward either. right but so the hubs come get you well it's at his office actually so oh, okay. he yes he met me well, there that worked out it worked out fine although the shot didn't necessarily relieve my headache however the shot itself stung really badly and so we the the stalker joked that it was equivalent to hitting my toe with a hammer and to really it you. Was, it was just a distraction it wasn't really going to cure the headache but you're not thinking about it now are you no so speaking of shots and whatnot um this week i don't know if you saw it on our facebook page i posted a link to a video with a poor young man. Oh, I saw it, but I didn't get a chance to watch it. If you haven't, you need to. Because this raises the question, okay, he just had his wisdom teeth out. Right, right. And um, at first, when I first saw the video, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, oh, you know. Another one of these. You get sucked in and he is hilarious. <laughs> and what's sad is his poor parents are recording it for all of posterity of and they put it on YouTube, no less. But, I wonder um, if I wonder if producers should put us under anesthesia one time. Oh, that'd be hilarious. Like, I mean, imagine what <laughs> we would be like. Well, my big question half is because you know you're saying you had to wait at the doctor's office. Why, are, when you have your wisdom teeth out, they like shove you out the door? They, they really <laughs> kind of do. Next, <laughs> you know, you go out. Oh, make sure somebody's watching you. You know, I, it was just it's hilarious to me. Did he cry? <laughs> he goes through as drunk and you know inebriated people often do the phases. he's either very happy or, or very baby. sad then he gets angry for a little bit i mean it sounds like tuesday to me well no it's just great because what are those white things in the sky oh what's that it's a river are we underwater now watch it you you won't regret it best 15 minutes of your life i swear <laughs> 
when are we going to be the best 15 minutes of somebody's lives? Life. Every day we are the best 15 minutes of somebody's That's life. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That. Right, June? Right? Right. Oh, yes, publicist. June is our publicist now. I don't know if you've met June, but you should. Ah, oh, you yes. should. Actually, you will be soon, but that is for another time. We're going to keep you waiting. Because you Jared know about the cliffhangers. The king of cliffhangers that never get. <laughs> and I still <laughs> haven't gotten to my many stories that I have to tell, but. Oh, talk about that as a cliffhanger. You'll have to wait. You will. Don't worry, I have them all written down. They'll come up eventually. <laughs> All right, I'm Jared. I'm Kate. We'll see you next time. If you're lucky. <laughs>